right, Ted. Always a tough trip to come over to Perth. How happy are you to leave with the four points? Yeah, we um, we just spoke about it then. There's been quite a few upsets this round. And we knew that if we won today, that would be would be on top. So uh, we just kind of focused in on, on us today and not, not, not about the ladder and um, able to get the win. And now it's all about Carlton. With the upsets earlier in the round, did that sort of make the team switch on a little bit more or there's no extra motivation than tackling West Coast in front of their home crowd? I, I, you can't let yourself drift and start to kind of get ahead of yourself and go, if this, this happens here and this happens here, it's just all, all about focusing on, on us and um, uh, yeah, we, we, we came in with a plan for, for the game. Then the weather was what it was, and it, the plan went out the window. It just became about playing a you know scrappy football, trying to trying to surge the ball forward. In scrappy games like that, where opportunities are so limited, as a defensive unit, how on guard do you have to be to know that any mistake can probably be turned over into a goal? Yeah, I think it's a pretty low-scoring game too, and so every every goal is probably worth you know three normal goals because it's just so hard to so hard to get them. Um, yeah, it's just, just I, I think there was one goal in the late in the second quarter. They went coast to coast, and, we're, and as defenders, we we're pretty, pretty disappointed with that because we pride ourselves on you know if they're going to be able to score goals, they're going to have to earn them. As a defensive back six or seven, aside from that goal and probably one late, were you happy with how you absorbed West Coast pressure as a whole throughout the game? Yeah, yeah. So um, we, we we had to really play to it for the conditions and. We didn't want to let, let the ball go over the back, so as, as they bombed the ball in, just trying to make sure that we'd spool the ball forward and um, because we, we knew it would be hard to mark and just get it out of that hot spot area. Um, so, and, and yeah, equally, when we had it in our forward line, we wanted to lock it in, which I think we did quite well. We had quite a few you know, shots on goal. It's just unfortunate we kicked so many points. In a tight, tough game like this, how important is it from everyone in the team to buy in? You have guys like Buddy Franklin with eight tackles, Jet Sam Reed and Luke Parker with you know double figure contested possession counts. Must be happy when everyone is shifting as one. Yeah, um, I don't think we had a bad player today, and um, poor Jones he went down early, so we had to play our sub, you know, bring on, bring on our sub early. Um, but you know, everyone just kind of really stuck to it, stuck to, stuck to the role, and um, it was also um, we had to, you know, um, go into we were going into the game earlier on in the week, you know, thinking Kurt was playing, but he didn't get up. So um, Gary Rowan came in. I think we all adjusted pretty well. Um, really tough trip this one, but equally going back the other way, and then hosting Carlton next week on Saturday night, which is a really quick turnaround. Um, you know, must be pivotal to switch on again and try and get the win going into the the bye break. So we w just walked in there, and, and um, Horst just spoke to us, and one of the first things he spoke to us about is, all right, now we shift our attention to Carlton. It's all about a recovery. Um, so I'll be trying to make sure I get in the business class on the flight back <laughs> and uh, resting the legs. I'll be having a chat to the team manager about that. Very good, Ted. Enjoy the flight back and good luck next week. I hope I enjoy it. <laughs>